Welcome to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this episode, we will look at how I am creating the combing post, the piece that fits it in the front for the combing to attach to. The combing is proving to be one of the trickiest parts of this entire boat. And so as I get ready to try to steam the piece I've got cut out, and it's sitting over there on the table saw, and I think I'm going to steam it in the bag because I still have some of that plastic. I got it laid out on top of there. But it occurs to me that I need to have my post set, which is supposed to be basically at frame 7. And it has an angle to it, which I got off of the plan. Let's go look at that real quick. Okay, so on sheet number five of uh, the Haven construction plans, we can see up here forward, just past the mast. I'm going to try to hold the camera and point to this. Right up here is the post that is for the combing to attach to at a point up there. Here's the combing coming back here. So this is supposed to be five inches tall even though it's at this angle. So I took the bevel tool. I don't know how many times we've used this and for how much stuff. And the angle's already set on here. I figured it out. I'm gonna have a hard time holding this and doing it. But kind of like that. I think I I think I laid it out with the bevel tool like yeah like that. And so anyway I was able to get the angle off of there and I know this is right. So Come forward up here to where it sits. And so I can set it here, and I know that that's about right. So that post sits right about there, and it sits at that angle going forward. And from the deck up, straight up and down, needs to be five inches. Okay, so we know that. So I've got some mahogany laying around, and I'm, so I'm trying to make my, my post for this. So, last night I glued up three little square pieces, which are right here. So it's just it's three, three pieces glued together in an L shape. And then I took that bevel angle over to the bandsaw and I cut off the angle for the bottom and the top. So you can see that it's symmetrical. And then when I put it in here, it sits in there so that it's leaning forward at that, at that angle. Now, I took this this combing template and put it up here and you won't be able to see there well you can you can see there where I drew a pencil line and that's basically what the angle needs to look like for the front facing of this post that it attaches to up front and you can see I've got a pencil line here coming from the other way and then this way well Right now, I'm at a 90 degree angle because of the way I glued this up, and that's not a 90 degree angle. So you can see when I sit it down on there, how that's not the same. And I tried to hold it there and push this uh, template up against it, and it doesn't match. Uh, it needs to be it needs to be fatter here at the back. It needs to be fatter back here as it comes up to the point. So I figured out roughly what that is, and I took another piece of mahogany, like this, and I cut it diagonally on the bandsaw, like that with the table tilted real strong, and the fence all the way up to where, when I ran the piece through here, straight up and down, and it's not in there the right way, you get the idea that it was able to run through there and cut that. And now, what I can do is take this and put it on there, and that, that widens out that angle. So, 
I'm not going to be able to do this and hold it and film it, but. Basically, all these pieces are going to get, I'm going to glue these up, and that's going to widen out that angle there, like that. I'll take some pictures once it's glued up. I got this thing glued up and cut off. I could never get the angles to measure up. Basically, what I've done is I've widened this up by gluing on more pieces on the edges there. Okay. It's not perfect, but that's the front facing that the combing is going to go up against. And so now I have the ability to put it on there. And let's come around the other side there. Okay, so you can see I've just got a little piece of stick of mahogany holding that thing up there. But you'll remember my pencil marks down here showing what my angle should be. And now that dude is going to be way better for accepting that combing coming forward. Boy, these angles are tough. I don't think it's exactly straight on there, but hopefully you can see how it should be able to accept the combing now on that front facing. Hold this, take that off of there. I'm trying to push the combing up there. It's way better. It looks like that should hold that. I mean, you can see there that it's pretty much the right, the right facing angle on that side. So I feel way better about it and uh, we'll let that glue up. And then I think what I'm going to do is drill a hole in there and put a dowel rod in and drill a hole in the deck. And then we'll just uh, glue that down in there with the dowel rod and also um, up inside the post itself and then epoxy it onto, onto the deck as well. So that shouldn't, shouldn't move. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Besides Jenkins Boat Works, look for the Haven 12 and a half group on Facebook too. I'm sorry that I don't have better, better camera ability here. I've got some of these angles already on here. Oh, good grief. That's not it. Ah! Enough to drive you crazy. That's not it. <laughs> oh, my word. If I ever needed some bloopers, I certainly have material now. <laughs>